What's your reaction to Russia trying to destroy this Patriot air defense missile battery that the Ukrainians have that they receive from the United States? No, it's clear that the support that all allies, and I would like to thank the United States for delivering uh, massive military support and economic support to Ukraine. Um, the, the military buildup of Ukraine and the training that they do on very sophisticated NATO-type equipment is, of course, of concern to Russia, because uh, Russia has quantity, and they should still be reckoned with because they are uh, amassing, uh, you know, quantity of troops and disregard for the losses they have, and Ukraine has uh, advanced sophisticated Western weapons, and of course for Russia that's a matter of concern. I have high confidence that the sophistication of uh, Patriot missile system or HIMARS, and also the fantastic speed and agility, ingenuity of Ukrainians in learning how to use these things, uh, will, will avoid such situations. It's been very impressive how the Iranians, Ukrainians are, have learned how to use I have to say that our guys weapons. training them in America, in Europe, uh, or everywhere, they're really impressed by yeah. the speed and the ingenuity. I've of heard the same people. thing. How significant is it right now, Secretary General, that uh, Russia is admitting losses in Bakhmut, for example, as Ukraine strike, strikes deeper and deeper into these Russian-occupied areas? The situation on the lo very long uh, front in Ukraine is very fluid. Uh, we can really witness uh, uh, some significant advances in the Bahmut area by the Ukrainians. Uh, they have the capability to launch such an offensive. The Ukrainians. The Ukrainians. They, they are uh, really uh, mobilizing uh, troops, equipment, command and control. But I also caution uh, to the fact that Russia is there with the hundreds of kilometers of three lines of defenses. They still have quantity. Ukraine has quality, Russia has quantity. So uh, uh, we know that Ukraine uh, has the capacity to launch an offensive, but we also be very careful and candid in saying that Russia would also oppose very fierce resistance uh, on the front line. As you may have heard, the British Foreign Secretary says Ukraine may not necessarily achieve what the Foreign Secretary calls a quick, decisive breakthrough in this expected Ukrainian counteroffensive against the Russians. But do you agree that Ukraine will need to manage expectations here? It's important. And I have to say that the uh, one huge difference between Ukraine and Russia in terms of their troops is the level of morale. Uh, Ukrainians are fighting for their land. They're doing a superb job, an heroic job. And you see that in the way in which they, they, they defend their, their freedom. Russia's morale is very, very low. So that's why it's very important also for Ukraine uh, to uh, strategically communicate the expectations. I would, I would, uh, I would of course concur with the with British foreign minister. I would also say that probably the next few months will be an indication, not necessarily in a few days, an indication of the, of the tide. And we all hope and we know that Ukraine has the capacity and, and the will very quickly, to, change, to change the tide of the war. You're the NATO Deputy Secretary General. Very quickly before I let you go, uh, President Zelensky of Ukraine today said he needs clear signals about Ukraine's future with NATO. What, if any, future does Ukraine have with NATO? Ukraine uh, deserves and belongs to civilized Europe. Ukraine has defended uh, heroically its freedom. It's also defending our interests. I cannot say when and in which circumstances the institutional part of their integration into, into, into the West will happen, but I know that the place of Ukraine is with us in civilized Europe, part of the family of democracies. They earned it, they deserve it, and I know that one day they will be part of our family.